What's up guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Now, I had a question the other day that said, what's the best value for money like detailed RC car? And I thought about it, it's actually pretty easy. They don't get enough credit where credit's due, and I believe it's the HG brand. Now, the good thing about it, they are a Chinese brand, but, you know, some people say, oh, you can't get parts, but you can get parts, and I have brought parts for these, and they've came in. So, there's no real issue with them, because they are available, but the detail and the price of these you cannot beat it a lot of a lot of the parts are metal super detailed they have a sound kit like eight channel radios you, you can't beat them in my opinion so i thought i might make this video fairly quick and just answer that question in video form because i do believe they are great cars and i have all well I have three look at the hummer the hammett and the explosion proof one now i'll show you that now but I just wanted to show you these because they're amazing and I'll leave the link for these down below if you don't know what I'm talking about. So there we go there. So there's, they're, they're kind of weird names but they're based on US, I believe, military RC. So this one here is a P8 o, P801 and you've got O2. Now this one originally had a bed on the back, like a tip bed. I changed it over to this awesome crane. This is another thing. The accessories that you can get with these are fantastic and they're like a lot of it's metal, like I said before, but even these like little doors, they open. Like, check out that. Now, I get a question. Imagine if this was a, a Tamiya. Like, imagine if this trailer here was Tamiya. This is another HG brand. This is all metal. It's like 12 kilos or something like that. It's, it's ridiculous. And I've actually towed myself with this Hemet. It's uh, eight-wheel drive. I've towed myself with that hooked up to this trailer and I was sitting on the back. I'll try to remember if I can put a little cardi, cardi do up thing there so I can show you, but it's actually pulled my weight. So you can just, you know, and that's all metal. Imagine if that was Tamiya. I'm not, I'm not going to put the price on that because I fluctuate, but it'll be four times the cost of that, you know, and the detail is incredible and it's based on the real thing. Just check it out. It's all metal. So I know a lot of people have seen these, but a lot of people haven't as well. And I just thought I might just do a quick video showing it because they're fantastic. I know I've said it before, but, you know, check out these details. I do believe you slide down. Yeah, these you slide down and you can open the doors. Well, it's locked at the moment, but they're kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go there. I opened it up. Full detail interior. And that's how it comes out of the box. And everything is, you know, little, little locks and stuff like that. Metal, lights, and they normally, if, I do believe they come in two sets, like a pro and a normal version. The pro comes in for full-on sound kit which these have and I'll, I'll see if I can remember to put the videos for these I've done a few videos on these as uh, already but just check out this this boom comes out I'll, I won't show you these now I don't want to keep it too long this video but I've done several videos for those actual little wire not not uh, string or anything that's actually braided wire fantastic and they've I, I don't know they hit the nail on the head so that trail I believe that's called a P806 now you have the P602, which is this one, absolute beast. Now it's called uh, bomb proof, I think, explosion proof vehicle, that's what it's called. And then you have the Hummer, which is a P480, I, I believe. And they're all in 112 scale. I wish they were 110, but it is what it is. But uh, so as we can see, all there. I like them because everything works or moves, you know what I mean? So for example, even in this Hummer, check out this. Got to remember how to use them, and I don't, I don't use them as much as I should. Check out that full-on detailed interior. If I come around the back, I lift this up. Look at these, even these little pneumatic actuators or whatever they want to call them. All this stuff in here, full-on, all detailed interior and everything. Let me just turn this light on so we can see a little bit better. Here we go, cooking with gas now. So check out in the back. That's where your LiPo battery goes. Look at that. It goes in there, you've got your guns, you've got your what jacks, different tools and everything like that. But full on interior. And even what I noticed with this one is the seats, they're actually like a they're not just plastic. They're actually like a if I can open this with one hand. Here we go. So look at the interior in there. I'll check that out. But yeah, they're like, it's like a hard, not sorry, not hard plastic, but it's got a bit of sponge to it. Look at the interior. See what I mean? Metal mirrors. Awesome. I'll even check out this suspension on this. Like I said, eight wheel drive, and you can lock the diffs as well. 
which is fantastic. Metal shackles, everything. And if I turn this up, upside down, now check this out. A little bit of an impromptu, impromptu video. Looking underneath of this thing. Check that out. Very prototypical, even though it's not. Uh, that, even though it's not uh, petrol or anything, it, it, it full on mimics the real thing underneath. Transfer case, all metal drive shafts, four wheel drive, and you can lock the diffs. There's like a little pin there, I do believe. It's a little pin, so you can lock them if you want. See, I haven't locked the front. I've locked the rear. Good for crawling and good for uh, tight turning. So I've got the front. But yeah, look at that. Amazing, and this is all metal. See, <laughs> it's such a beast. They're great, great cars. Look at even, even the exhaust. So I think these guys would get a bit more credit where credit's due. And even on the look at the front of this, these little like um, straps for the bonnet. So you pull them out on the sides. Make sure they're all the way out, like this. There we go. Lift them out. Check out this. So that's uh, there's your engine bay, and you actually got these little toggles as well to open up to get into your ele electronics. So it's like they've really thought about it. Look at that. ESC, your speaker, receiver, and all that kind of cool stuff. Look at that. Just like the real thing, eh? Even this is that's metal. The intake, air intake, all that snorkel system's all nice. So you got that down, you got this, and then you got this as well. So it's like they really thought about it. And yeah, like I said, if this was in another manufacturer's uh, arsenal, imagine how much it'll be. Now check out this one. This has a smoke system as well. I actually, so when I was saying about parts, I actually ordered underneath. I broke the um, springs under there. So I had to order that. I'm not sure. I think it dropped too hard and it just snapped them. But uh, it is what it is. But look at the winch. All metal winch. And this one has a mad little motor underneath here. Can't remember how to open it. Let's see if I can remember. There we go. Check out that. So I think it's a Cummins in there. There's a smoke system. That's where you fill it up. And it comes out all the way out here. It comes out to the back. And on the side, you've got these little compartments. I don't know. I look like a little bit silly trying to open it one hand, but it is a bit hard. But they all open. Maybe get this one. See? Little hinge. Everything opens up. Even in here, that's where your ESC and everything is. But the door, this thing is awesome. Check out the back of this one. Full interior and everything. It's got, I don't know how many seats in there. It's got a whole set of seats. One, two, three, four, eight seats in the back. Full on, look at the shelving. How cool is that? You wouldn't think that this is an RC if you, uh, you know, looked at it like that. Metal, what's that metal uh, ladder, rubber flaps. That's what she said. <laughs> but there we go. Check out that. So it's really, really nice. But yeah, that mode is awesome. And even underneath this one, it's the same. Now, I'll flip it over with one hand if I can. Check out that. Not as detailed as the Hummer, but everything here is metal, metal diff housings, six wheel drive as well, super beefy, spare tyres, everything like that, but yeah, that way a ton, even this light flashes, so it spins around, you got more of these little hatches and everything in there, and it comes with like a machine gun, I think like a 50 cal that you put up here, more hatches, great isn't it, just, yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think, have you got this car? And what do you guys think of it? I haven't hardly use them and I should use them all. I've just been really flat out with time. But I, I just think they're amazing. The value for money, they are plastic and metal and a lot of parts are metal and they're decent quality too. I have never broken anything to do with the drivetrain or anything like that in that matter. Anything with the, those leaf springs I smashed. I think it just dropped and it just smacked one of the, the eyelets. But that's fine. Uh, the, the parts are coming. They look awesome, they're prototypical, and the option parts you can get, like all oh, this system, is amazing. And the value for money is incredible. 
So I'll leave the links for my other videos where I've actually done separate videos for these. But if there's anything you need to know, please ask me because you know, any questions you need or if you've done any mods to these, let me know. Because I want to share the hobby with you guys and just experience that there are such good values that you can get and, you know, I don't know, what's, I'm just trying to, you don't need to spend big bucks on big brands because a lot of the times when you buy cheaper products, uh, you can't buy parts and that's shit and I agree with that but these you can, which are great, you can get them on eBay, you can get them from this other hobby shop, rchobbies.org I believe, um, so they're available and the good thing about them, I have not broken anything apart from those two eyelids and that was my fault. And that's it. I know you can even buy these motor sets, these whole like this whole fake motor in there. Really good, really really nice. But uh, for anyone into the scale setup, like even this, check out this. The handle even moves. Like look at this. Open the door. Check out that. Oh, there's a 50 cal. Look at the interior. See. Awesome. But yeah, I wish they were in one tenth. That's my only. That's my only gripe. But beggars can't be choosers. That's what it is. So let me know what you guys think. They are fantastic RCs. I hope they come out with some more because I'll, I'll, I'll get the whole range if I could. But uh, check out that. That look good. <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions? You know where to leave them. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, please subscribe and uh, let me know if, uh, what you think of these cars. Cheers, guys.